Okay, let's build a prototype. We need a base. Uh, quickly we draw it in uh, SOLIDWORKS or other CAD program. We make a cutout and we try to virtually assemble it afterwards. Here is a base. You can see a lot of cutouts. Everything is precise, measured, and we can get uh, DXF files out of it and build a prototype enclosure. You always need a prototype enclosure because even you are genius designer there could be some small components what you are not seeing in, in virtual, virtual, virtual environment. So, nice build. Uh, you can see that uh, back panel is almost 100% used. And now we need a cover. So let's make a cover. It is simple, simple component. The key here is that all holes are uh, compatible with a base. Uh, we put some bends. Yeah, decent, decent, decent cover. Nothing fancy. Mm, we will have DXF file out of it, and then on CNC machine we make components. How does it look uh, together? Uh, it's assembled. Yeah, here you can check. Uh, are your holes are uh, matching uh, everywhere? Um, are there any any design mistakes uh, in this uh, assembled view? Uh, what you can do in a SolidWorks is it is fantastic. Oh, here you can see a bent enclosure. We have eight inputs and eight outputs. I'm using Speakon uh, in uh, uh, in a pairs. Uh, here is a fuser but, and uh, main input. So you can see that uh, for speakons we are using uh, all four contacts. That means two channels per speakon, and this is how we solve it that uh, limited space. Otherwise, we need to make it uh, some 30 centimeters higher. Uh, but this is optimum height. Uh, here is capacitor, what we already measured. Uh, here is a filter. Uh, power supply, fan, fan contro controller and 12 volt power supply for a fan. Unfortunately, this large power supply doesn't have 12 volts output. So in general, uh, uh, I went for active cooling uh, because uh, I'm going to do a lot of uh, tests out of it. A nice compact design. I like it. Uh, uh, here, uh, here you can get eight channels, and it could be outstanding uh, home cinema, home cinema solution. Also, you can use it as a as a multi-channel, uh, a multi-channel amplifier for uh, three-way speakers or even four-way speakers, or uh, two woofers in parallel. Uh, let's put together. All components are made on CZ machine and they match, uh, match very well. I did a number of tests with that and there's a good things and bad things. What is a good? Uh, with 8 ohm lo load uh, uh, speakers it sounds uh, good and neutral and home cinema uh, mostly are 8 ohm small size 8 ohm speakers. I did a detailed inspection of board uh, how they implemented that 8 ohm uh, optimization and find out that power circuits are built by the book by according reference design. Those are perfect. There are 9.5 microhenries uh, inductors. They are uh, equal. There is one microfarad capacitor. In part one, when we looked at the uh, theory, we inspected uh, that output filter calculator and there were graphs. Uh, this particular board is built exactly according reference design and graphs should be similar to theory. Uh, that means an 8 ohms a uh, little bit gain and an 4 ohms a little bit drop. That uh, 8 ohm uh, optimization uh, happens in preamplifier part, uh, just using uh, correction capacitors in op amps. 
Yes, uh, you got the perfect characteristics for 8 ohms, but for 4 ohms you have a coloration. You have a little bit emphasized low frequencies, and correction in a preamp part is not the best practice. If you use an optimized filter, you get a better result for 8 and for uh, 4 ohms you will have a neutral sound. But anyway, it is a great board, and my final evaluation of this board is, uh, is high. I'm going to use for... Uh, some uh, cost-effective uh, solutions because this board is small it's compact uh, if you put it vertically you can do passive cooling and uh, many people want it another great scenario is use it together with uh, 600 uh, watt uh, powerful stereo board and uh, use that uh, smaller board only for mids and uh, and tweeter uh, in active speaker systems, then in a crossover you can add a little bit gain for for a tweeter and uh, get back all those uh, losses what we have in, in, in general when you use a full bandwidth. Mm, anyway, this is unique board, uh, there is no alternative, so such quality, small size and four channels on one board. Uh, it is absolutely perfect board for uh, home cinema. Powerful, easy to implement, in a vertical position you don't need a fan cooling. Uh, for 8 ohms you can uh, use 48 volt power supply without modifications and get out uh, 150 watts. That will be an in, in incredible home system. Uh, I saw development of home uh, cinema systems, there are multi-channel systems, 9, 11 channels. 16 channels and even some prototypes of 24 channels this board fits in all scenarios and you can you can use it yes it has a niche if i would uh, order volumes uh, of this board for myself i would ask uh, manufacturer to make it neutral at least preamplifier uh, should have a flat frequency response uh, then it has even more uh, application areas it's a good question why engineers uh, specialize it for 8 ohm load. Who knows? And now I assembled uh, my prototype for uh, stereo listening. I listened it for, for many hours. I can't uh, put any recording here or, or tests. Uh, YouTube immediately will ban it. But uh, I should say that even on 4 ohm load, it sounds pleasant. Yes, low frequencies are a little bit uh, accented. That means it has a coloration. But it is pleasant. Now, for me, as a critical listener, uh, it may be a drawback. But for a non-experienced listener, he will say that nice low frequencies, very rich sound. And it will describe in different ways of that. But as I told... Uh, I like absolutely neutral sound and all uh, corrections uh, done only uh, in conscious way using some sound processing if I want it. Uh, otherwise, great, perfect board, a reasonable price, very well built in a good factory. Here I made adapt adapter cables. Uh, probably I will re-engineer my prototype in a in a passive way. It will be higher, and I will have uh, more space for output. Uh, currently, I'm using uh, adapters, but then it will be universal solution for for different tests. In generally, I'm happy. Mm, it will be my test board. Yes. Uh, will I use it in uh, in ready-made products or kits? Uh, maybe, maybe. It's not bad board. I will think about it. Um, there are plenty of boards uh, in the market, and with China boards, the biggest issue is that uh, they are doing a lot of modifications, and life cycle is short. Otherwise, great board. <laughs>